Okay, so we're going to have to add some fractions, and they all have the same denominator. These ones are mixed numbers. Um, not very difficult. All we have to do is rename as improper fractions. That's one method we could use. So 8 times 1 is 8, plus the numerator, which is 4, is 12. So 1 and 4 eighths can be renamed as 12 eighths. And the same process can happen over here. Uh, 8 times 2 is 16, plus the numerator, that's 22. So 2 and 6 eighths can be renamed as 22 eighths. And now, simple process. We're dealing with eighths, so the answer is going to be an eighths. We now have to have 12 plus 22, well that's 34. So that is the correct answer, but it says an improper fraction. And normally you would need to rename as a mixed number. So this really says, right, 32. 4 divided by 8, because that's what the fraction bar is all about. It's a division uh, bar. So how many times does 8 go into 34? Well, it goes in 4 times. What's the remainder? The remainder is 2, so 2 becomes the numerator, and the denominator remains 8s. Now again, here we've got 2 8s, and we can simplify that. So we should be going 4 divided by 2 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the final answer is four and a quarter. If we move over to the next one, we have, again, we've got three twelfths. We don't need to rename that, so that's good. And this one here, 12 times three is 36. So 36 plus 11 gives us 47, right? So we're going to be adding 47 twelfths. So the answer is going to be in twelfths, because that's what we're working in. And 47 plus three is 50. So renaming that is going to be how many times? Does 50, uh, can 50 be divided by 12? How many times does 12 go into 50? Well, that's 4. How many are left over? 2, so that becomes the numerator. It's over 12. This can be simplified to 4. We divide both by 2, because they're both even. So 1 over 6, and that becomes our final answer for that one. And if we take a look at the final one, we have, again, so... Um, 5 times 15, let's just quickly check that out. 5 times 15, so that's 25. Uh, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 75, right? And then plus another 5 is 80. So 80 fifteenths, plus here we have 15 times 1, plus 5. Well, that would give us 20, so 20 fifteenths. 20 plus 80, right? So that equals 100. We're talking in fifteenths, so the denominator stays as fifteenths. And we just have to figure out now how many times uh, 15 will go into 100, and that is 6. So 15 times 6, what is that? So that's 30. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 90. So we know that we're going to have 10 left over, so 10 is the remainder. So 10 fifteenths, that can be simplified. We Divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5, and that gives us a new answer of, or a simplified answer of, uh, 10 divided by 2 is, uh, 10 divided by 5, sorry, is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3, so the final answer, 6 and 2 thirds.